Hi, my name is Sachi, and I lead the safety training team at OpenAI. So in addition to mitigating hallucinations, we've also spent a significant amount of time mitigating deception. So this is instances where the model might misrepresent its actions to the user or lie about task success. This can especially happen if the task is underspecified, impossible, or lacking key tools. We found that GPT-5 is significantly less deceptive than O3 and O4 Mini. For GPT-5, we've changed this approach entirely, and we're introducing something that we're calling safe completions. The point of safe completions is, rather than judging the user's prompt, instead it tries to maximize helpfulness within safety constraints. So that might mean partially answering a question or just answering at a high level. If we have to refuse, we'll tell you why we refused, as well as provide helpful alternatives that can help create the conversation in a more safe way. So let's look at that same technical prompt that O3 complied with before. GPT-5 instead explains to the user why we can't directly help the user with lighting pyrogen, and then guides the user towards safety guidelines and what parts of the manufacturer's manual the user should really be checking if they're trying to do this safely. Overall, GPT-5 allows for better handling of tricky dual-use scenarios, and users will experience fewer, I'm sorry, I can't assist with that, and it creates a more robust safety system. This is one big step towards a more safe, reliable, and helpful AI.